Recording live from the Northeast Georgia Business Radio X Studio, this is Northeast Georgia Business Radio presented by Regions Bank. Start building your financial confidence at Regions Bank. Member FDIC, an equal housing member. Welcome back, welcome back folks to another exciting edition of Northeast Georgia Business Radio. I'm your host Tom Sheldon and yeah, we're coming to you live from the beautiful Empower College and Career Center of Jackson County. I have with me not one but two amazing guests today. And if you know these folks, you have to like them because they feed you. And they feed you really, really well. And they're cool. I have with me today, from Time to Cater and Bistro to Go, Keith and Mindy Moser. Folks, welcome to the Northeast Studio. Hey, Tom. Hi, Tom. Thanks for having us. How are you? Did I get all the names right, all the words right? Yep, you sure did. Yep, absolutely. Not a time to cater. No. no. Time to cater. Time to cater. I knew I was going to mess it up, and I didn't. <laughs> it's Just... little little victories, little things. Okay, full disclosure. I've eaten meals, Keith, that you've prepared, and I know M- Mindy's in the back just making sure you do it right. I, she's I, the I, brains I know, behind I know Mindy well. I've had several of your dishes, your catering. Everything you make is insanely good, and you're not paying me to say that. Nope, not at all. Your cheese grits? I've seen people fight over them. True story. And I'm a Yankee. How did I, that happen? I know, right? Not the Yankee part. But, <laughs> well, we know how that happened. But no, seriously, cheese grits, I'm just saying. Bless you for them. Oh, thank you very much. I've cooked, oh my gosh, so many of them. Uh, it's just taken time and practice. I hear you. F- again, full disclosure, your uh, chicken salad, I, I'm addicted to it. We have three different chicken salads at the bistro. One is the original, and two we actually put side by side when we were looking at choosing for the menu, and we decided that we liked them. We are looking to expand that in the future based on customer preference. Personally, I wouldn't change a thing, but that's just me. And now you've <laughs> cooked all over the world, man. Yes. You talked about experience and getting it right. You're I've lived well in traveled. thirteen countries. Only thirteen. I know, right? Wow, I didn't know there was that many countries. To be honest with you. I didn't either. I'm a, I'm a host. I'm not that smart. You know that. <laughs> I was fresh out of high school, and I bought a one-way ticket, and I told my parents that I was going to Italy shortly, just days before I went, and they said, who are you going to stay with? And I said, I don't know. You're serious. Dead serious. This is this is like real time. Totally. Absolutely. No way. Yep. You and were, I didn't, what, let, them take me to the, I didn't let them take me to the airport. There was a party in the city where the airport was the night before, and I said, okay, I'm going to the party, and I'm going to figure out how to get to the airport. So I took my two suitcases and two backpacks with me, went to the party, found a ride to the airport, got on the wrong flight. Of course. Yep. And that was a huge wake-up call right away. Like, I am on the wrong flight. Where did you end up? Cincinnati. Oh, wow. Yeah. So wow. It, it was the right destination, but the wrong flight. That wouldn't happen nowadays, I'm sure. Probably not. But it was, I, I am like totally Mr. Early. I arrive early to everything. I have to, especially, it's great in this occupation. But I got to the airport early, and I got on the earlier flight to that same destination. I got you. But it was a huge wake-up call that now I'm on my own. You know, I yeah. could not borrow someone's screwdriver or even know how to ask how to go to the restaurant or where the restroom was. It's just, I'm on my own now. And that's the way I lived for just shy of eight years. Right out of high school. Right out of high school. Now, were you envisioning being a chef? Were you interested in cooking? I always wanted to. Okay, you always wanted to. Always wanted to. I but guess. I always wanted to do it right. Of course. Hence the reason that I, that I went to Europe. But one of the major factors in deciding to go to Europe was I didn't want to go into debt. And to, to go to culinary school in the United States, the fact is you're looking at thirty five, forty five thousand dollars a year and then you got room and board and all that stuff. Right. Where I bought a at the time five hundred and sixty dollar ticket to go to Europe. I was there. I budgeted seven dollars a day. That was my budget for eight years. Period. Wow. Yep. So that's wow. what I did. And then on my days off I would work for other kitchens to earn money to pay for things that I had to have. As you went. Yes. Well wow. oh. Where's the boss come in on this? Mindy, I'm betting you didn't just jump on a plane and end up somewhere. I did not. I grew up in North Georgia, small town of Suches. I met Keith uh, 20 years ago, I guess. We both worked at Chateau Alain together. He was a chef there. The rest is history. The rest is history. That's right. They used to have a restaurant called Le Clos at Chateau Alain. That was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And when I moved back to the United States, I decided to look at the... I did a 48 top restaurants of the United States tour in 13 days. So I toured everywhere. And then my brother said he was moving down to Atlanta. Do I want to move with him? Found Le Clos and ran it. 48 restaurants in 13 days. Yes. Not all in the same state. In... 
yeah, it was 30. The United States. Yes. So I went to Han- Al- Alan Wong's in Honolulu, went to Charlie Trotter's in Chicago, Nancy Oaks at Pier 1 in San Francisco, on and on and on and on and on. I took a map of the United States and I highlighted the top restaurants and yeah. then I bought tickets and I did interviews in airports. I did them in parks. I did them in restaurants. I did them all over the place. Wow. It was awesome. It's scary. No. No. Not at all. I love to push and push and push and push. Apparently so. Yeah, and I'm a go-getter, and if I want to do it, I'm going to do it. And rarely do I have my eyes set on something that I don't achieve. I'm with you on that. We have a very successful catering company here in Jackson County. Yeah, we started almost two years ago. We actually reopened it. We were in Ohio right. for... Over two years ago. Anniversary was last week. Oh, well. There you go. Correct it. See, that's why she's the brand. That's why she's here, yes. Yes. So, which was great. I worked at, when we first moved down here, I looked for a job, found one at UGA, loved it. I have nothing but great things to say about UGA. And then the pandemic hit, and I was kind of capped out at UGA. So, I moved on, found a great opportunity, and then that kind of flaked off. So, I decided to reopen Time to Cater. And at first, it was a little slow, and then it was just, whoom, all at once. Exploded. Exploded. So, he said, reopen I'll backpedal a little bit on that because when we lived in Ohio, we owned a catering company for 10 years, and that was Time to Cater, which he now refers to as Time to Cater 1.0. Nice. We kept the same name. We still own the website, so we Smart. kept the same name and reopened here. So you two met here in Brazelton, Chateau Alon, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. and then you ended up in Ohio. Yep. That's where he's from. So after we got right. married, we moved there for 12 years. Gotcha. And had a few kids. Yep, had a Five. Floyd basketball team. <laughs> you, you have babies. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But now they're working with you. Two the of oldest, them. Yeah. The two oldest are. Mm-hmm. Yep. Our oldest daughter um, has been a barista for almost four years. And wow. she's our uh, barista front of the house manager at the bistro. And our son, Jackson, works with us prepping in the kitchen. He also can run catering events, often by himself. Is this in their future, do you think? Jackson, yeah. He, at first, kind of fought it. And he said, you know what? He was a teenager. Like, like yeah. nowadays, the kids yeah. are like, you know, I'm not for this, but he's like, I'm not against it. So, which means he's all for it. He's moving that to that side. Yeah, absolutely. That's cool. Yeah, and he loves to learn. He loves to cook now, and it's just one thing at a time. I'm teaching him. What is going back to the catering side? What is the biggest event you've done? And I mean, like by the head, by person. Just shy of four thousand. Four thousand. Where was it? I got it. That was up, actually up in Greenville. I catered something. South Carolina. Yeah, I love Greenville. Yeah, you uh, gonna open a restaurant there? But no. No. Okay. Well, never say never. Never say never. never. Yeah, never say never. Mindy's over there elbowing the daylights out of Keith right now. It's a beautiful. He almost said yes. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> I love Greenville. I do too. That could be Greenville. retirement days for me, just saying. Second retirement days. The biggest one that we've done around here, I think, was 1,800? It was 1,200 Amazon in oh. one day. We, it was oh, 1,800 was day, spread yeah. out over a couple of days, but 1,200 people in one day. Wow. We do yeah. a lot of corporate catering holiday parties, so yeah. we fit everybody in the building wow. in one day for their holiday party. That's a lot of people. Yeah. yeah, it is a lot of people. And one thing that we pride ourselves on is 99, 95% of things are fresh. The only thing that we don't make fresh is bread because I can buy good quality products. Everything else is made fresh in house. Making bread in general takes time. Though, it does. It? it absolutely does. Yeah. And you have to be good at it and you need True. room to do True. it. And you need yeah. a good baker. We make all of our own pastries and desserts from scratch in house at the bistro. I wanted to talk about that. I am an icing snob. All right. Long, long story short, my mother made, she would just make a simple chocolate, a simple one layer cake, and she would put white icing on it. I'm not sure what she put in the white icing. Some people told me she's put oil. Or, I don't know, but it is, and to this day, the best icing I've ever had, period. And nothing, almost nothing, has ever come close to it. I had your cupcakes about a year ago, and boom, that was the icing. I don't know what you what you do. I don't want to know what you do. It's a secret, and I love the secret. But, young lady, you make the best chocolate cupcakes with white icing, period. Thank you very much. The secret is not the recipe. The secret is the technique, which you learn over many years. There you but go. Butter, powdered sugar, cream, that's it. It's butter cream. Butter cream. With frosting. a little bit of love or a lot of love yep, or something. I don't know. <laughs> they're awesome. Thank you. And folks, I, I swear they're not paying me. They did bring me coffee. <laughs> the coffee's really good. Thank you, by the way. They did bring me coffee. They didn't want me falling asleep over here. What were we talking about? Talking about baking. All your pastries, everything at Bistro to Go, it's fresh. Fresh. Made every day fresh. The truck doesn't bring it in. Nope. 
Put it out 4 a.m.? Our baker comes in at 4 a.m. You have someone helping you now. We do. I've Your hired, recipes, though. Yes, my recipes. But we've hired a baker, and she's amazing. 4 a.m. she'd have to be. Mm-hmm. Sometimes earlier. <laughs> I can't bake, but 4 a.m. Yesterday it was 3.15. She came oh, in wow. really early. We had a lot going on. <laughs> We're all just going home, and she's heading out. <laughs> wow. Oftentimes we will head out of the kitchen, you know, from a catering event at 1 or 2 in the morning, and we're just like, oh, man, the stove's almost still warm for the baker. 1, 2 in the morning? Mm-hmm. Wow, what are you doing at one in the morning? You gotta clean up after these catering events. Sometimes oh. you have weddings that last till eleven o'clock. That's true. And then we're driving back they party you know, forty five minutes or an hour. Yeah. What is the footprint? I know you go to Greenville. Mm-hmm. We'll go all the way up to Ella J. Blairsville. Okay. I would say we max out at about two and a half, maybe just over three hours in radius. You go that far. Mm-hmm. That's a long way. You pay. I'll all, go. Almost to Charlotte, I guess. Yeah. It, it just costs more money. Sure. Because, I mean, if it's three hours away, that's six hours per person of just travel. Right. So you just add that onto the bill. Right. And if, if a customer wants it, I'm willing to go for well, it. Well, if you're that good, they're going to pay it. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's just all there is to it. So we've had several calls. That's as far as we're going right now, but nothing's unlimited. Wow. So you get that big deal out in Hollywood or something. Mm-hmm. Book me a flight. <laughs> Book you a flight. A lot of times I can find kitchens at the location, and I can just rent them for the day. I was about to ask you, how do you do that? Because you're not loading up the, the little catering truck and driving two hours. Oh, you absolutely. Can. Oh, yeah, we, we do. do that. Absolutely. Do you really? Yeah, and we'll, we'll bring our mobile kitchen with us. You have a mobile kitchen? Yeah. That is really cool. I didn't know you had one of those. Yeah, so we just load up the trailer with the burners, the ovens, everything, and we'll take everything there. And that way I can make, for instance, we'll just say grilled asparagus. Mm-hmm. It's not going to hold. It's going to be gray. It's going to be ugly. And oh, I, yeah. yeah. And what I like to do is, although a catering event might be about the person that booked it, the bride, for instance, for mm-hmm. a wedding, it's not. It's all about the future potential clients that also attend the event. Sure. So I make sure that everything is meticulous. So I want to cook the asparagus there. Yeah, you're making me hungry. <laughs> we're right down the street. I know I know where you are. I know where you are. And this is the last show of the day. Folks, we're going to take a real quick break. We're going to get in a community partner, and we'll be right back. One of our great community partners is Piedmont Injury Massage. Injuries can come from everyday life or even after surgery. Massage can be a benefit even if the damage was done a long time ago or it just happened. Contact Piedmont Injury Massage today and find out how they can help you with your recovery. Owner Hart Fandrich provides a personal, hands-on service with many types of massages. Visit PiedmontInjuryMassage.com, that's PiedmontInjuryMassage.com, and begin your path to recovery and wellness today. And while you're at it, check out our new website, NEGABRX.com, to see all our great community partners. Folks, you still with me? Yep. I'm here. Haven't run off? Nope. I was kind of hoping, Keith, she'd run off and like bring cupcakes back but she she didn't she didn't the coffee's amazing by the way thank you thank you thank you so much you are having an americano which is different than brewed coffee okay but my favorite that's why i brought you my favorite thank you thank you Uh, you asked me what kind of coffee i wanted i said i'm easy house decaf i don't Mm -hmm. know coffee i don't know i yeah well this is uh decaf americano it's very tasty thank you thank you so much all right what were we talking about we're talking about catering and yep. cheese grits. Mm-hmm. And you're catering all over, or not catering. Well, you are catering two, three hours away sometimes. Mm-hmm. Huge footprint. Huge footprint. And our philosophy is literally anything, anytime, anywhere. Is and there I'm, one thing you really like to make? You're you're good at it all, but is there that, that one thing that, oh, I got this? I really like dealing with the Mediterranean really? um, cuisine, absolutely. And fish, especially. Salmon. Because a lot of people are intimidated by fish. Yeah, uh, it can be a very expensive mistake if you dry it out I, overcook I, it. Something I could like see that. that. I like to make fish for people and have them just truly be surprised at how much they can enjoy it. Now you mentioned corporate, you big corporate events with twelve hundred, eighteen hundred at Amazon. That isn't all you do. No, not You're, that's not all. You we have do. a lot of different clientele. Mm-hmm. We do corporate catering for lunch events, holiday parties, but we also cater weddings, office luncheons, fundraisers. We feed the teachers at Jefferson City Schools a lot. Do you really? Yeah, we do. Nice. Last week, we fed the student council, and Even better. that was great, and the teachers at West Jackson Middle School. So we travel all over the county at the different schools. Teachers love to eat. They love to see you coming through the door. They sure do. They like to see that little truck pull up. They love. I like guy. to see that little food truck pull <laughs> we up. We love teachers, and we love to support the schools and the teachers. I'm with you on that. All right, let's talk about the bistro. You've got this uber successful catering business, right? Hey, I know. Let's open up a restaurant. <laughs> it wasn't exactly like that. 
Sweet. Let's <laughs> really um, never sleep. <laughs> so <laughs> we outgrew we outgrew our kitchen pretty quickly when we opened our catering company. Well, that makes sense. And yeah. there is no available restaurant real estate in Jackson County. We looked and looked and looked. So we yeah. decided instead of building just a catering kitchen, we might as well build a catering kitchen with a storefront to uh-huh. advertise for our catering business that makes and sense. to offer another dining option to our community. What do y'all not serve at that bistro? That's a, I know that's a really open-ended question. Crickets. Crickets. <laughs> that's what I hear is crickets. crickets. We serve everything. I know we, you do. Yeah, we, serve, we have breakfast, lunch, <laughs> that's good. That's dinner, take-home meals, full coffee bar, smoothies, yeah. healthy options. Fresh salads. So every walk of life you know what we can don't get serve? something. I thought of something. What we do you? not even own a fryer. Bless you for that. Nothing uh, fried. Everything is fresh made. I like. I never realized that, but you're right. Yep. No fryer whatsoever. That's very cool. You're in the city of Jefferson. Where in Jefferson are you? We are located at 960 Lee Street in Jefferson. We are between the bowling alley and the Peach State Federal Credit Union in the same complex with Anytime Fitness. So if you are leaving the city of Jefferson and you make it to the bypass, you went too far. Correct. Or even to the, to, was that a Chevron yep. gas yep. station? You went too far. Yep. Turn make around. a U-turn. Yep, absolutely. Preferably not right there because you might get a ticket for it. <laughs> <laughs> but hey. Pull over safely. Pull over safely. Use your signal. But you're right there. And, and the bistro is how many months old now? We opened April 5th. Wow. So, yep. See, I would have said before that. Yep. We opened April 5th. We did some friends and family days the yeah. first couple of days of April, yeah. but our first open to the public day was the 5th. You're already part of the fabric of the community. It's only been a few months. It seems like it. Yeah. No, I, mean, I don't say that. I don't say that lightly. I mean that. The first really thing do. we did when we opened our catering company was join the chamber. That really gave us a lot of exposure in the community. So when we opened the bistro, we had so much support from fellow chamber members and people that we'd met. I believe that's why we grew so quickly, and we've just had unbelievable warm welcome in now, Jefferson. That's the Jackson County that is correct. Chamber of Commerce. Jackson County Chamber. I guess they have been crucial in our growth, and especially in the beginning of starting the catering company. They gave us the contacts we needed just by going to the events that they already had. A lot of good folks involved yes, with that chamber. Absolutely. The two of you both do a lot of stuff with the community. A lot of volunteer hours. Yeah, sure, you feed everybody. Now, this is where Keith gets quiet. That's, that's funny. <laughs> and he looks over at me like... <laughs> this, is not, this is not the time to be modest, sir. I, I, you put the time in, my friend. I do, but I'm, th- that's not my thing. I'm not a boastful person. I like to serve. I like to give when needed. I'm not one to stand up and say it was me necessarily that did it. So I just do it. We have a lot of kids. We have five children. Five babies. And our kids are 10... Hold on. I can't believe you have to think about I this. I know. 10, 13, 14, 17, and 21. So we've been in Jefferson City Schools for many, many years since we've lived here. We have just been involved in things to support children. You do some mentoring, Keith? Or you used to? Yes. I am part of the mentoring program. Uh, You're still active? W- yes. Okay. okay. This will be my second year doing it. Oh, I got um, you. There was such a great need um, for especially men to kind of step up and to support these young men. They're our future, they, and they need our help. Are they ever? And why should we not? Like, who can't give an hour a week for, for these kids? So right. I think that if, you're, if you have the time, that is a great program to be part of. Legacy Youth? Yes, sir. Lisa Stevens? Yes, sir. She's awesome. She is awesome. She, is awesome. she does a great job. She does. And these kids very much uh, deserve and can appreciate that. And, and it's great guys like you provide it. Thank you. Bless you for that. Yeah. I serve on the board with the Jackson County Boys and Girls Club, and I serve as the treasurer for Jefferson Academy PTO. I also organize a fundraiser each year for Hope Pregnancy Resource Center. It's a 5K. That's coming up in November, which I'm excited to come back and talk to you about that more. How long have you been doing that? This will be our fifth year. Your fifth 5K. Fifth 5K. Yep. Now, where's that 5K at? It is downtown Commerce. We in start Commerce. and end at in Spencer town. Park. Yep. And you just kind of found out about it. I found out about the Hope Resource Center through yeah. the chamber. Went to the ribbon cutting, found that they had some needs. Um, some of their needs were financial. Ended up organizing a 
5K in 2020. So it's really a, a fundraiser. <laughs> it is a fundraiser. It is. It's their biggest fundraiser of the year. Very cool. And so at our last 5K uh, last year, we hit over 30,000 for donations. That is awesome. Since we started. Congratulations. Yep. Thank you. Nice. I got to ask both of you, what do you do in your spare time? We don't have any. <laughs> okay. We don't have any. No rock climbing, skydiving. I do love hiking. Do you really? And any chance. We love to be outside. Yeah. Any yeah. chance we yeah. get, we'll hit the mountains and try I'm to get in a now. hike. We have a pool, so we love spending time outside. Oh, well, that works. Yep. So how do the folks find you? How, how does everyone get a hold of you? You can find us on Facebook, or you can visit our website, which is timetocaterbistro.com, and that is time, spelled like the herb, T-H-Y-M-E, timetocaterbistro.com. And that's for catering? Is that for the bistro? Does the bistro work into the website? That is everything. That's the bistro website. Okay. There's the catering tab. Um, you can find out all the info on that one page. Perfect. Or, hey, if they're in town, they can just show up. Yeah, that's right. We're open 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. I know. You're open all the time. Yep, all the time. Very nice. Well, Mindy, Keith, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having us, Tom. This has been like a year in the making. I know. You're just so darn busy. You know? But we I'm so it happy out. to be here. Nice. I love your podcast. I listen to it a lot. Well, I appreciate that. We need listeners. We need downloads. They're going to play my music. And then what I do have to wrap up. Folks, check out what Mindy and Keith are doing. If you've been to an event here in Jackson County, odds are you've already had their food. But seriously, time to cater, bistro.com, time, T H Y M E, time to cater, bistro.com. I'm Tom Sheldon. Talk to you soon. Savings goals keeping you up at night? Let a Regions Banker help you build a Regions Greenprint plan, a free financial roadmap personalized for what matters to you. Start building your financial confidence. Visit regions.com to find a branch near you. Regions Bank, member FDIC, 